planet. Pluto again. had it coming from the beginning. It was it was like it was never really belong. Pluto's orbit crosses that of another planet. That's no kind of behavior for a planet. Pluto, the mysterious dwarf planet at the edge of our solar system, is causing a stir in the astronomical community. Recent reports suggest a looming collision with Neptune, sparking concerns among scientists and space enthusiasts alike. Renowned experts, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Mikio Kaku, have raised alarms about the potential consequences of this celestial clash. But how exactly did Pluto find itself on a collision course with its distant neighbour? And what could this cosmic collision mean for our existence on Earth? Join us as we delve into the terrifying event unfolding between Pluto and Neptune. Pluto, once considered a full-fledged planet, was later reclassified as a dwarf planet due to its unique orbit. Despite this change, it continues to captivate and engage the astronomical community. Recent predictions from prominent scientists, including Neil deGrasse Tyson and Michio Kaku, highlight a concerning proximity between Pluto's trajectory and that of Neptune. These experts are cautioning about a potential collision between the two planets, posing a significant threat to Earth. The distinctiveness of Pluto's journey around the Sun lies in its unparalleled characteristics within our solar system. Its orbit spans an extensive 248 years, and since its discovery in 1930, Pluto has not completed a full revolution. What adds to its intrigue is the highly elliptical shape of its path, a departure from the nearly circular orbits of the major planets. Additionally, Pluto's orbit is marked by a 17-degree inclination to the ecliptic plane, making its path steeper in comparison to other planets. This combination of inclination and elliptical nature introduces layers of complexity to Pluto's orbital pattern. A notable aspect of Pluto's orbit lies in its intersection with Neptune's path, during approximately 20 years in each orbit, Pluto ventures closer to the Sun than Neptune, challenging expectations based on their respective positions in the solar system. This prompts the question, why hasn't a collision between Pluto and Neptune occurred? The explanation lies in the gravitational influences exerted by other planets. The examination of Pluto's orbit commenced shortly after its discovery presenting a puzzling trajectory for astronomers. Unlike the majority of planets whose orbits align relatively close to the ecliptic plane, Pluto's distinctive features include a steep inclination and an elliptical shape. The mystery deepened with the realization that Pluto's orbit crosses that of Neptune. The stability of Pluto's orbit amid these intricacies serves as evidence of the complexities inherent in space mechanics. The three-body problem in space involves understanding the movement and gravitational interactions among three celestial bodies, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. It resembles predicting their trajectories based on initial positions and mutual gravitational influences. In Pluto's case, this problem elucidates the intricate interplay of its path, Neptune's path, and the gravitational pull of the Sun. Terms like azimuthal libration, latitude libration, and the VZLK oscillation contribute to unraveling this celestial puzzle. Astrophysicists assert that azimuthal libration, responsible for maintaining planets in their orbits, plays a vital role. In the context of Pluto and Neptune, this term signifies that when Pluto intersects Neptune's orbit, it is positioned at least 90 degrees away from Neptune, crucially preventing potential collisions. Latitude libration, referring to the vertical movement of a celestial body in its orbit, ensures that when Pluto approaches Neptune or other giant planets, it is situated significantly above their orbital plane, providing an additional layer of protection against collisions. A key factor in understanding celestial motion is the VZLK oscillation named after three scientists, von Zeipel, Lidov and Kozai. They explored the gravitational interactions between three space objects, such as Pluto, Neptune, and the Sun. 
The VZLK oscillation explains why Pluto's orbit around the Sun appears unusual but remains smooth over time. Despite the apparent randomness in space, underlying patterns and rules maintain order. These factors collectively stabilize Pluto's orbit, preventing collisions with Neptune or deviations from its course. The three-body problem helps us understand how the gravitational pulls of these space objects influence their paths. Studying this contributes to our knowledge of Pluto, our solar system, and distant celestial bodies. Numerical simulations in the late 1980s revealed that, despite stable properties, Pluto's orbit is technically chaotic, with minor initial deviations leading to significant differences over millions of years. However, Pluto's unique orbit maintains stability over incredibly long timescales, keeping chaos in check. Recent computer tests have enhanced our understanding of how large planets like Neptune, Jupiter and Saturn influence Pluto's path around the Sun. Neptune's special connection, where it completes three orbits for every two of Pluto's, contributes to stability. Jupiter's gravity also plays a significant role, and Saturn has a smaller impact. Together, these tests show that the combined influence of Neptune, Jupiter and Saturn ensures Pluto's safe and stable movement in space for billions of years. These phenomena are crucial for maintaining the order and predictability of space bodies' movements in the universe. Without these mechanisms, the solar system would be a place of greater chaos and unpredictability, potentially leading to collisions or ejections from stable paths and causing a ripple effect on other celestial bodies. Understanding Pluto's orbit is crucial, especially amid discussions about the potential collision with Neptune in the future. This knowledge provides a clearer understanding of the dynamic nature of the solar system. Pluto's case highlights how seemingly unstable orbits can reach equilibrium through the intricate interplay of gravitational forces and orbital mechanics. Continuous observation and study of these phenomena are vital for gaining a better grasp of our position in the universe. Exploring the depths of space often reveals the unpredictable nature of celestial bodies, and Pluto's orbit serves as a prime example of this unpredictability. The concept of orbital chaos, illustrating the sensitive dependence of a celestial body's path on its initial conditions, is vividly demonstrated in Pluto's case. Even slight variations in the dwarf planet's position or velocity can significantly alter its long-term orbit. Computer simulations have been instrumental in helping scientists understand how Pluto moves in space. These simulations use complex mathematical models to mimic the gravitational interactions between Pluto and other celestial bodies, such as Neptune. By making small adjustments in the simulations, Astronomers can observe how minor tweaks can have a substantial impact on Pluto's trajectory. In the late 1980s, these simulations revealed an intriguing aspect of Pluto's path. Despite features like azimuthal and latitude libration that contribute to its stability, Pluto's orbit can still exhibit unpredictability. Even a tiny initial difference in Pluto's position or velocity can lead to significant changes in its path over many years. Despite this inherent chaos, Pluto's orbit remains stable for an exceptionally long time, extending over billions of years. This suggests that, beneath its seemingly erratic appearance, Pluto's journey around the Sun follows a structured order. Predicting cosmic events, especially with planets like Pluto that have unpredictable orbits, is quite challenging. The inherent unpredictability of these systems makes long-term forecasts uncertain. Numerical simulations help us understand and anticipate the future paths of celestial bodies, but they also reveal the limits of our predictive abilities. These models heavily depend on accurate initial conditions and simulate complex interactions. Even a small error can lead to significantly different outcomes, making precise predictions difficult. The chaotic nature of celestial orbits, such as Pluto's, reminds us of the ever-changing universe. While we've made progress in understanding space, Pluto's case highlights our ongoing limited knowledge. 
understanding the gravitational influences of giant planets on Pluto's orbit gives valuable insights into the broader dynamics of the solar system. It demonstrates how each planet's presence and position can affect the stability and trajectory of other bodies in the system. Despite these complex forces, major astrophysicists are now expressing concerns about a potential collision between Pluto and Neptune. This raises questions about why such a collision, which seems unlikely given these intricate dynamics, is now a topic of concern. Neil deGrasse Tyson, a well-known astrophysicist who played a key role in making astronomy popular, offers a special viewpoint on the mysteries of our solar system, particularly regarding Pluto. Tyson, famous for reclassifying Pluto as a dwarf planet instead of a full-fledged planet, shares insightful thoughts on how our understanding of celestial mechanics is always evolving and people's fascination with the unknown parts of space. Tyson sees Pluto's reclassification not as a demotion, but as a necessary adjustment to our increasing knowledge about the various objects circling the Sun. His approach to celestial mechanics involves continual learning and adaptation. He views the complexities of orbits, like Pluto's, as a reminder of how much more there is to discover in space. Tyson believes that the allure of these unknowns is what makes astronomy so captivating. Additionally, Tyson is aware of how space-related events and discoveries shape public interest in astronomy. He thinks occurrences like Pluto's reclassification and its unusual orbit are opportunities to capture the public's imagination and curiosity about the universe. By discussing the dynamic and sometimes counterintuitive aspects of space mechanics, he opens a window for the general public to marvel at the wonders and mysteries of the universe. Working alongside other scientists, Tyson is actively cautioning the public about the potential danger of Pluto's unpredictable path. After studying Pluto extensively, he has raised concerns that the three-body problem might pose a real threat suggesting that a collision with Neptune is long overdue. Additionally, he emphasizes how such a collision could disrupt the balance of the universe and lead to catastrophic consequences, extending to Earth. A collision between Pluto and Neptune would be an unusual and catastrophic event in our solar system. This collision would release a massive amount of energy, likely breaking apart Pluto due to its smaller size and icy composition. Debris from the collision could scatter across the solar system, posing potential hazards for other planets and their moons. For Neptune, such an impact could potentially alter its atmosphere and orbit, depending on the specific details of the collision. Michio Kaku, a well-known theoretical physicist recognized for his work in string theory and science popularization, offers a unique perspective on this scenario. His views on the future of space exploration and the connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics provide deep insights into phenomena like Pluto's orbit. Kaku sees the study of Pluto and its orbit as a glimpse into the future of space exploration. Understanding the complex gravitational interactions and orbital dynamics of celestial bodies like Pluto, according to Kaku, can offer crucial insights for future space missions. This knowledge can assist in navigating the solar system more effectively, predicting potential hazards and planning missions to the outer reaches of our solar system and beyond. Kaku emphasizes that the lessons learned from studying Pluto's orbit can be applied to explore other celestial bodies, providing a blueprint for approaching and understanding distant worlds. In discussing the physics of planets, Kaku often highlights the deep connection between celestial mechanics and theoretical physics. He believes that the movements and interactions of planets, such as the gravitational dance between Pluto and Neptune, are not isolated events, but are linked to fundamental principles of physics. Kaku's work in theoretical physics, especially in string theory, aims to comprehend these principles at the most fundamental level. He suggests that studying the complexities of celestial mechanics, like the orbit of Pluto, can yield insights into the underlying laws of the universe. Similar to Tyson, Michio Kaku has also addressed the potential collision, relating it to his theories about the universe. If Pluto and Neptune were to collide, 
it would be a significant event in astrophysics, offering a unique observational opportunity that could potentially contribute to our understanding of string theory. String theory, a theoretical framework replacing point-like particles with one-dimensional strings, seeks to describe the fundamental forces and matter in the universe. A collision of such magnitude in the solar system could create extreme conditions of energy and gravity, offering insights into the behaviour of fundamental particles and forces under extreme conditions, a key focus in string theory. Additionally, the gravitational waves produced by the collision could provide valuable data for testing predictions of string theory related to gravity and space-time. While the direct impact on Earth would be negligible due to our distance from the outer solar system, the scientific implications of such an event could be profound, potentially contributing to our understanding of the fundamental nature of the universe as described by string theory and other areas of theoretical physics. Pluto's orbit serves as a remarkable example of celestial mechanics, showcasing both stability and chaos within our solar system. The unique characteristics of its orbit, influenced by the gravitational forces of neighbouring planets, particularly Neptune, highlight the intricate and dynamic nature of space. The universe holds many mysteries, and the three-body problem is just one of them. There are other potential disasters that scientists anticipate. While the chances of planets colliding in space are extremely low, it's not entirely impossible. The way planets orbit is influenced by various factors, including gravitational interactions explained by the three-body problem. In some space systems, like TRAPPIST-1 with seven Earth-sized planets, the gravitational forces create a rhythmic pattern called orbital resonances. Over time, these patterns can make planet paths less stable, potentially leading to collisions. Despite the crowded nature of systems like TRAPPIST-1, collisions are not currently happening. Scientists closely monitor these systems to understand how planets influence each other's paths, particularly when they are near. This knowledge helps us comprehend the movement of planets in space. Rogue planets floating through space without orbiting a star introduce an additional unpredictable factor. These planets, formerly part of a star system, are expelled due to gravitational disturbances or other celestial events, such as the close passage of another star or dynamic instability in multi-planet systems. Over time, these wandering planets can traverse vast distances, potentially reaching regions far from their origin. During their solitary journey, there is a possibility of them intersecting with other star systems. If one of these nomadic planets enters another solar system, there is a slight chance of a collision with a planet in that system. However, given the immense and predominantly empty nature of space, the likelihood of a rogue planet directly impacting another planet is very low. The vastness of interstellar distances and the scarcity of planets in open space serve as deterrents against frequent collisions. Additionally, rogue planets are relatively uncommon compared to the number of stars and planets in stable orbits making such encounters even more improbable. In instances of galaxy mergers, the respective star systems can be thrown into disorder. The extensive interstellar distances make it somewhat unlikely for planets to collide directly during these cosmic events. Nevertheless, the substantial gravitational forces at play significantly alter the orbits of stars and planets within merging galaxies. This upheaval can result in planets being forcefully expelled into the frigid, dark expanses of intergalactic space, transforming them into rogue worlds detached from any star. Alternatively, these gravitational disruptions could potentially lead to scenarios where planets are ejected from their orbits, collide with each other, or impact their host stars. In some cases, the gravitational rearrangement can even trigger the formation of new celestial bodies or initiate the ignition of new stars as gas and dust undergo compression under extreme conditions. In our solar system, the late heavy bombardment theory suggests that around 4 billion years ago, there was a period of increased collisions involving comets and asteroids. This surge in impacts is believed to have resulted from gravitational disturbances caused by the outer planets. During this chaotic phase, the gas giants, such as Jupiter and Saturn, 
were undergoing migration, disrupting the orbits of numerous smaller bodies in the Kuiper Belt and Asteroid Belt. As a consequence, these smaller objects were thrown into unpredictable paths, with many making their way into the inner solar system. This influx led to a significant rise in impacts on the terrestrial planets, including Earth. While these collisions did not involve direct clashes between planets, they illustrate how gravitational interactions can bring about substantial changes in the trajectories of celestial bodies. This bombardment is thought to have played a crucial role in shaping the surfaces and geological histories of planets in our solar system. Additionally, it may have contributed to the delivery of water and organic materials to Earth, influencing the development of our planet. Over an extended period, as stars go through changes and lose mass, the paths of planets around them may widen and potentially cross. This is particularly noticeable in systems where stars are at the end of their life cycle. As a star gets older and consumes its nuclear fuel, it often undergoes significant mass changes, especially during stages like the red giant phase or when it releases material in a planetary nebula. These variations in stellar mass can significantly impact the gravitational balance of the system, causing the orbits of nearby planets to either move outward or become more compressed. This is more likely to happen in multi-star systems where complex gravitational interactions can easily lead to unstable orbits. In such systems, the gravitational forces from multiple stars can interact unpredictably, exacerbating orbital shifts and increasing the chances of orbits intersecting. This can result in situations where planets might get captured by another star, collide with other celestial bodies, or even get ejected into interstellar space. In all these scenarios, the actual likelihood of a planet collision is still considered highly improbable. The vastness of space and the relatively small size of celestial bodies make direct collisions rare events. Nonetheless, these possibilities are of great interest to astronomers and astrophysicists as they offer insights into the dynamics of planetary systems and the evolution of galaxies. The exploration of Pluto's orbit represents an ongoing pursuit of knowledge in the field of space exploration. As Tyson and Kaku have illustrated, each discovery brings us closer to understanding the intricate nature of our universe. It's a journey that challenges our perceptions, broadens our horizons, and motivates future generations of explorers and scientists. Thank you for watching another episode of Voyager while you're still here. Click the video on your screen to see more mind-blowing videos like this one.